start with the story and find out why we're making biscuits and what it's all about. Shall we find out from the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you ready for a story? Mm -hmm. So this is what happened. So this is in Acts 9 verse 1 to 19. I'll be telling you a little bit and reading a bit too. So it's about a man called Saul and he made some bad choices didn't he? Because he was killing people who were following Jesus. That's not nice, is it? Mm, no. But then um, making some bad choices. He thought he was following and God the right put, way. And did he put them in jail? He did, yeah, he did. And he wasn't very nice to them. Mm. So he was doing some bad things. And they said, You stay in jail. Yeah. So it wasn't nice, was it? No, that wasn't nice talking. No. So then his aunt, he got some letters to take to Damascus so that he could get even more people into trouble. Yeah, so he wasn't doing some bad things. Mm -hmm. So then... I don't want him to tell me. No. Because you're my mummy. Yeah, let's see what happened, shall we? Mm -hmm. As Saul was coming near the city of Damascus, suddenly there was a bright light from the sky that flashed all around him. It's amazing, isn't it? He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you being not very nice to me? Who are you, Lord? He asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, the voice said. But get up and go into the city where you will be told what you must do. So Jesus spoke to him on the road. Yeah, the bright light, so we did a bright light with a biscuit, didn't we? We made some bright light biscuits. The, the men who were traveling with Saul had stopped, not saying a word. They heard the voice, but couldn't see anyone. Saul got up from the ground and opened his eyes, but couldn't see anything. Why? Because, he, because the light was so bright that he was blind. Oh. So they took him by the hand and led him into Damascus. And for three days he was not able to see. And during that time he didn't eat or drink anything. Why? Because he didn't know what was going on. He didn't know what was happening. So, and then Jesus spoke to Ananias. He had a vision, like a dream. Ananias had a dream. He was frightened because he knew that Saul made some bad decisions before, didn't he? And he'd done, Saul had done some bad things and Ananias knew that. So he was frightened. He was frightened of Saul. But God said that it would be okay. But the vision, Jesus in the vision, in the dream, told him it was going to be okay. So, so Ananias went, entered the house where Saul was, and placed his hands on him. Brother Saul, he said, the Lord has sent me, Jesus himself, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here. He sent me so that, might, so that you might see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. We learned about that before, didn't we, the Holy Spirit. At once, something like fish scales fell from Saul's eyes and he was able to see again. Wow! He stood up and was baptised and after he had eaten his strength came back. What an amazing story! Mm -hmm. yeah. And well, did he be a, a nice person? Yeah, the 
that's why. So Saul then he made some good choices because Jesus helped him go from being making some bad choices to then making some good choices and following Jesus and being Jesus' friend and being nice to Jesus' friend. Oh, no. That's great that Jesus helps us, doesn't he? Make some good decisions. Mm -hmm. So Hannah's going to be guiding you through cooking the biscuits. So what you need is 200 grams of butter, unsalted like cooking butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, one egg and 400 grams of plain flour. And there's some colours there as well for decorating later. After lunch. So first of all we need to preheat the oven to 190 degrees celsius. Make sure you get an adult to help with that. So you need 200 grams of butter and then you need 200 grams of caster sugar. Let me just reset my scales. So then you need to cream the butter and the sugar together so then it's light and fluffy and it all together. You can use a spoon or you can use um, an electric whisk, but if you use an electric whisk, make sure that you get a parent to help out. So next you need to beat the egg and put it in the bowl with your sugar and your butter. So then we're going to beat the egg. You need to add your 400 grams of flour to your bowl. So next you need to mix it together until a dough forms. Again you can use the hand mixer or you can use a spoon, whatever's easiest. It's just spilling it everywhere. So when your flour and your mix is combined then you need to go and wash your hands again and you use your hands to gather the dough together into a ball. Like so. So it then it'll come together like a, like a ball. So when you've got your ball, then you can put it in cling film and stick it in the fridge for about an hour. This will um, stop it from expanding in the oven so if you're doing quite detailed cutter things then it will stop them from going all splodgy so yeah in the fridge in an hour cling film so now you've got your dough out the fridge my trusty assistant Chantal has um put in some flour in the shaker for me so you're gonna put the dough on a floured surface And then you're going to knead it briefly and then roll out um, until it's approximately a pound coin thick. Oops. Remember to keep um, flouring your rolling pin as well so it doesn't stick. So we're going to do two different types of Saul as a little man. We're going to do one when he's grumpy and being mean to Christians and then we're going to do another when he's blind, when he's seen the light. So the second one is this and it's a little angel but it represents um, Jesus appearing to Saul on the road to Damascus. 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 So this is a round one and on it we're going to put icing as the rays of light that blinded Saul. So this one is a heart cutter and it represents Jesus' love. So now you're going to get a grown up to help you and you're going to transfer them from the counter to a baking sheet. And yeah, you need to be very careful. That's why you need a grown up to help you. Hello. 
So they're going in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes or until they're golden brown around the edges. So in the video, it will take a second, but we have to wait 12 to 14 minutes. So you need to take them out of the oven and put them on a cooling rack so that when they're completely cool, um, then we can put the icing on. So now your biscuits are out of the oven and completely cool, we are ready to decorate them. So here I've got a selection of different coloured icing, some different bowls, I've got white and I've got yellow, that's for the sunray one. And I've just coloured it with normal food colouring. So first we're going to do Saul when he's on his way to Damascus and he's a grumpy, he's very grumpy and very mean. So we're going to do, we're going to give him some eyebrows, some, oh dear, okay. <laughs> yep, he's going to be, he's very mean. So he's got a, see that. Okay. And now we're going to do um, Saul when he's been blinded. So he's going to have, he's going to have white eyes because he can't see anymore. So now we're going to do a sort of rays of light one. So we're going to put um, white, then yellow, then white, then yellow, and then we're going to use a spoon to spread it. Um, so then it'll look like rays of sunshine, sort of rays of the light that So we'll put some yellow. So now we're going to do um, the angel or the light that appeared to um, Saul in, on his way to Damascus. And also the light. You can be really creative with these, so you can do whatever, whatever you think. So now we're going to decorate the heart, which represents Jesus' love. I'm going to use pink, because it's a nice colour. And you can just, you can be completely creative with this one. You can be creative with all of them. Um, but I'm going to do some, ooh, I'm going to do some swirls, because you can do what you want. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's going great. But, oh. Getting some close up. So we've finished all the biscuits now, so I hope you enjoy and have fun. And this is how creative we were with the other bits and bobs. So it's competition time now. <laughs> um, and we're going to see how good these biscuits really are. So Rick and Matilde are gonna, um, they're gonna have a taste of the biscuits and you have to guess which reaction is real. Here, do our taste test. Uh, I'm ready to do our flames. I'm ready to do our game. So Matty, what do you think of the biscuit? You gonna try it? So now, Matty, you can try the biscuit and see what you think. I like it. You try the biscuit and see what you think. Okay. I like it. So now you're going to taste the biscuit? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now it's ready for your taste test, Dad. Thank you. Yep. Mmm. Good. Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm.
doing for joining us for Flames Kids. So, it's nearly time to say goodbye. But before we do, we're going to pray because it's really important, isn't it? To pray and talk to God. So, I just want to thank you, God, for the story of Saul that we've been learning about. And I pray that you'll help us, that when you fill us with your Holy Spirit, that you help us make good decisions rather than bad decisions so we can follow you Jesus thank you for the Bible that encourages us and I pray that everybody listening would come close to you and so they can make good decisions to follow you as well Amen Yay. Yay. So it's time to say goodbye Bye bye Yay. Bye. 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 bye God bless you, have a great week Bye bye